Hello traders, welcome to Invest2.com's how to series and the module on oscillators. In this lesson we're going to learn about the bear's power. And uh, well, this oscillator is a very nice indicator that will show you the strength of the current downtrend. And even though it doesn't show you actual entry or exit signals, you have to use it inside of a trading system. And the way you're going to use it inside of this trading system is to know how strong the downtrend you are currently riding is. And this is how the bearish power looks on a chart. And uh, you can see right now that we are in, uh, uh, well, a, a range, a very nice and very wide 140 pip range. And uh, the readings on the bearish power are very inconclusive. For example, uh, when uh, the bear power, the bearish power is flat, you can see that also price action is flat. Okay, when we do have some uh, um, some uh, momentum to the downside, such as these examples, okay, you can see that the bearish power shows momentum to the downside on the bearish side. Okay. And uh, the way you can use it is, for instance, let's say that uh, you took this short entry based on your trading system, okay? And let's say that your entry was about here. Well, it, it really doesn't matter where your entry was. Uh, what I want to show you guys is um, how to use the bearish power to close your positions. Let's say that you took a short entry right here and uh, uh, you can see on the bearish power that sellers are in control of the market right now at this at this moment and um, When uh, the indicator or the bearish power goes to positive side such as is such as In this case you can close go ahead and close your position for a nice um, 37 pip win and you can do the same uh, if you took for example this um, short position right here, let's say that your entry was around these uh, price levels and uh, right here we have the bears power going to positive, meaning that the bears are no longer in control of the market and uh, we have actually to close our position. This means that our position would have generated another 40 pips, okay? And the same goes for this position, okay? But the uh, interesting part of the bearish power is when we trap a very strong trend okay and let's imagine that we took a short position right here and uh, let's imagine imagine that this is our entry around these price levels okay uh, you can see that um, even though the uh, the bears are no longer in control or we are, are losing steam we never go to the positive side on the bearish power, meaning that this is just a correction for a continuation to the downside, okay? Right here we do have uh, uh, positive positive readings, but they are very conclusive and uh, we continue to the downside. So this is how you're going to use the bearish power when you, are, uh, when you actually catch a trend, you are going to use it to know how strong, how strong this trend is and how much the sellers are in control of the downside on this market now um when uh when the um bears powers start starts to uh, look like this you can know that uh, something is wrong with this market for example right here and uh, even though the bears uh, even though the bulls are not in control of the market the bears have no saying whatsoever, meaning that there is not any more selling power as much as there was in the past, meaning that we are due for a trend change. And you can see that this is exactly what happens when we spiked up all the way up here. Okay. And we continue to move to the upside. So this is how you're going to use the bearish power, just as an indicator of uh, how much the sellers are in control when you are riding a down movement. And if you want to learn more about the bear's power and how to build your own trading system, go to invest2.com slash advanced technical analysis.